political and diplomatic way in reaching out to the military junta of uh, Niger to resolve the issue. Let me re-emphasize that we, for almost two decades, Nigeria is battling insurgency, more especially in Borno, Yobe, and some northern states. And uh, also concerned about the situation of Mali, Burkina Faso, and Libya, where I can say virtually there was no government or organized government uh, in Libya. If the situation allowed, or if the position of ECOWAS to use military force uh, to force the military to surrender power to the democratic elected president in Niger, it may lead us to another crisis which Nigeria will be at the receiving end. That is the reason why we are pleading with our colleague, especially in West Africa. So meaning, I am not in support of coup d'etat. But I have a concern. Before setting up a unit or anti-coup d'etat unit in Air Force, isn't it time that the African head of state or the Air Force head of state look into the reason why there are coup d'etat? What are the root causes of coup d'etat? Let them put their house in order first before they set up an anti coup d'etat unit. Let them put their house in order. And I believe their house is not in order. This unit is set up to defend them and to protect them only, nobody else. What is more coup d'etat than your national constitution gives you two term limit, five years, two terms. After serving ten years, you want to change the constitution for another term. Is that not a coup d'etat? Because you feel you have the powers to do that. The soldiers have the powers to coup d'etat. That is also another coup d'etat. And they are living with them there. They are there. Uh, to achieve so Friends, very good afternoon. I am Senator Suleiman Abrahman Kau Sumaila OFR, uh, PhD, representing Kano South Senatorial District from Kano, spokesman of uh, Northern Senators Forum. I am here this afternoon to address you on some issues, some topical issues uh, to do with the representation uh, on behalf of our caucus of Northern Senators Forum. Uh, can I continue? It is a result of the going or what is going on in with our neighbors, Niger Republic. The title is Northern Senators Forum. As a forum, we condemn, we the Northern Senators Forum, O caucus, on test Senate, under the leadership of Abdul Ahmed Ningi, not with the concern and condemn in its entirety the unfortunate development in Niger Republic, where the military possibly of stage a democratically elected government of President Mohammed Bazoum. The Northern Senators also take cognizance of the effort of ECOWAS leaders under the Abdul chairmanship of our dear President, President Vola Ahmed Tinimbu, in resolving the situation in Niger Republic. The emphasis, however, should be focused on political and diplomatic means to restore the democratic governance in Niger Republic. We also take exception. We also take exception to use up the military force until all other avenues, as mentioned above, are exhausted. As a consequence, 
will be will be casualty among innocent citizens who go about their daily businesses. Beside about seven northern states a share border with Niger, namely Kebi State, Sokoto State, Zampara State, Katsina State, Jigawa State, Yobe, and Borno State, respectively. We are also aware of the situation of Mali, Burkina Faso, and Libya, which share, which may affect the seven northern state because all these three states shared border, border with the Niger Republic. Uh, if military force is used, there is serious implication for our country. If military force is used without using all the democratic, AO uh, diplomatic channel in resolving the Hogmia. As a democrat and representative of the people, uh, we are here by urging our colleagues, more especially from the other region, to observe our due diligence in invoking Section 5, Subsection 4, A and B, uh, which gave the National Assembly power to approve the request, or more particular, Senate power to approve the request of Mr. President when he, uh, we uh, intend to participate or to join any foreign or to engage our military in foreign uh, war. This is our position and we are urging our colleagues and Nigerians to see reason on using democratic, political and diploma diplomatic way in reaching out to the military junta of uh, Niger to resolve the issue. Let me re-emphasize that we, for almost two decades, Nigeria is battling insurgency, more especially in Borno, Yobe, and some northern states. And uh, also concerned about the situation of Mali, Burkina Faso, and Libya, where I can say virtually there was no government or organized government uh, in Libya. If the situation allowed, or if the position of ECOWAS to use military force uh, to force the military to surrender power to the democratic elected president in Niger, it may lead us to another crisis which Nigeria will be at the receiving end. That is the reason why we are pleading with our colleague, pleading with our Nigeria, with our, the remaining leaders of ECOWAS to see reason in insisting that diploma, diplomatic and political approach is the best solution to resolve this cogmia. I do submit our position. Thank you so much. I am talking as my capacity or at my capacity as spokesman of the Northern um, Senators Forum of the Tenth National Assembly, inshallah. His name, his name? Uh, I am Suleiman, Senator Suleiman Abraman Kau. I am very concerned about the happenings in Africa, especially West Africa. Yagut, of recent I have seen the ECOWAS introducing the anti coup d'etat unit. Nunepur coup d'etat da fawara stop. Kukodef. They will form a big unit, Union Attack. We are not in support of coup d'etat. Let me make that very clear. And I want them to hear this. We are not support or in support of coup d'etat. I was a member of the Pan-African Parliament and have advocated strongly for us to introduce a term limit to make sure that we do away with good data in Africa, especially in West Africa. Yeah, yeah. So meaning, I am not in support of good data. But I have a concern 
before setting up a unit or anti coup d'etat unit in ECOWAS, isn't it time that the African head of states or the ECOWAS head of states look into the reason why there are coup d'etats? What are the root causes of coup d'etats? Let them put their house in order first before they set up an anti coup d'etat unit. Let them put their house in order. And I believe their house is not in order. This unit is set up to defend them and to protect them only, nobody else. What is more coup d'etat than your national constitution gives you two term limit, five years, two terms. After serving ten years, you want to change the constitution for another term. Is that not a coup d'etat? Because you feel you have the powers to do that. The soldiers have the powers to coup d'etat. That is also another coup d'etat. And they are living with them there. They are there. In the name of civilian, putting on multi clothes, calling yourself a Democrat, when you loot all the resources of your country, mislead people, torture them, imprison them, burn their businesses to us, and you call that a democracy? Or a civilian rule, an illegally elected government? The leaders must stop lying to their electorate first. They must stop the corruption. They must stop looting our resources. They must understand that they are not a better citizen than anybody. They are given a responsibility, a role to play, to help develop the countries and make sure that there is peace and tranquility and respect the constitution of the country. But this is not happening. Example is this government. This government has lied to people in 2016 that they are going only for three years. Was that not a lie? Who asked them to tell people that we are going for three years? Were they forced to say that? They went around the whole country, lied to everyone. When the people started reminding them, this is what you promised us, they threw tear gas on them. And the president is bragging, yes, when I throw tear gas in them, they never came back. Does, not, does, does that not anger the citizens? You throw tear gas on your people. Some of them are wounded and you stand out there and bragging that I throw them a tear gas. They never come back. That alone can anger the citizens. You promise the people you will have a security sector reform. It's never happening. The civil service sector reform is never happening. The Jane Commission, Jane Commission was violated before the end of the Commission. When you take all the assets of the former president, and now you are busy buying assets, your days are coming. I thought they should have learned, or they could have learned from this. Unfortunately, they are not learning. So before you create a unit to go against any atom of coup d'etat, put your house in order, stop lying to your electorate, stop lying to your citizens, stop looting the resources of your country, stop corruption in your country. And then you can talk about anti-coup anti d'etat. When Alpha Conde was killing his people in Guinea, <laughs> after serving 10 years, he said it was not enough. I want to serve another term. During the process, 
So many Guineans were killed. And I did not hear any echo was going there or condemning him. You know why? Because Guinea was too big for them, or Alpha was dancing to their tune. Because I think that was why the Sumon Gambia was surrounded all sides by soldiers and guns in 2016. Because Gambia was small, or Gambia is a small country, and Jamme was not dancing to their tune. After the presidential election in Guinea, more than 300 Guineans were butchered, killed. No echo was condemned him. No African Union condemned him. Instead, they pick up their phones and say, Musele President, felicitate you. Congratulations. That is the fair game that is happening in Africa. They can condemn Mali. They can condemn Guinea. They are soldiers. But the one in Chad, who has been given a red carpet for the African Union, was never condemned, and he's a soldier too. He's a soldier. They can give him a red carpet for the African Union. But the other soldiers are condemned for their attempt, or for their, for their act. Where is the fairness in ECOWAS, or in the African Union? They are not representing us. I believe they are representing themselves. So we are calling them to remember that power belongs to the people. Alassane Ouattara knows how he came into power with Bagbo. He knows. But he finished his 10-year term. He changed the constitution for another term. They are there with him. Nobody condemns him. They are not there to condemn him because he's dancing to their tune. So I'm calling on ECOWAS to do the right thing. We young Africans, we are here watching and we fear nothing. I don't have to be a president to be a Gambian. I don't have to be a president to contribute my quota towards national development. But I'm a proud guy. Assignments which you are, you are trying to accomplish. I mean, we know what you have been able uh, to achieve. So that's what we are here for. With what the authority of heads of state and government have done so far? What's uh, your assessment of this? Well, so far we we are going there to see and convey this message to them, and then we we'll listen to them, and then we we'll come back and report back. Thank you. Well, uh, uh, of course, you are aware of uh, the events in Niger, uh, which the ECOWAS, under the chairmanship of President Bola Tinubu, have addressed, and they have taken certain decisions regarding how to address the um, challenge in Niger. You want to quickly say yes. something about uh, the steps that uh, the authority of heads of state and yeah. government yes. under the leadership of President Tinubu yeah. has, has taken so far? The steps that they have taken so far regarding this? Well, as you can see, there are carefully calibrated measures. We hope to find a diplomatic solution. Nobody wants to go to war, and especially with neighborly, uh, brotherly peoples um, across the border with whom we share common language, common culture, common religion. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate it.